tiki huts are open-sided structures that are built on wooden frames. They have thatched roofs that protect against the sun and rain. Add one to your backyard today to enhance its look and create a nice, shady place where you can relax. Thinking about installing a tiki hut in your backyard? Here are some do's and don'ts that will help you out during the process. Do decide on the area inside your hut. Before setting a tiki hut, you must decide on the purpose that you want it to serve. If you are going to use the hut for dining, the place must be able to accommodate the table and chairs you need. The thumb rule is to allow three square feet for a chair. So if you want to fit a rectangular table with six chairs in your hut, you are going to need an area of no less than 12 feet by 9 feet. Don't install thatch before electrical wiring. The electrical conduits should be hidden in the roof structure, and this can be done only when the roof framing is completed. After the electric work is done and dusted, the sub roof and thatch can be installed. The position of electrical outlets for fans, televisions, extra lighting, ticky signs, and anything else you may need is important to ensure that the palapa does not have wires and outlets visible. Do choose your posts carefully. The selection of posts is as crucial as choosing the roofing material because the thatch and posts are the two things that are visible from the outside. The posts must blend into the design and landscaping of your house. The posts can be stained, sanded, or natural but should match an aspect of the house's surroundings. For example, a peeled cedar will provide a more rustic look, while pressure-treated eucalyptus looks nice in a modern setting. Don't use natural thatch over or near a pool. Unless you want to be clearing your pool every day, don't install the tiki hut near one. Most of the natural materials used to make the hut will degrade over time, breaking and falling. If it's beside your pool, they will fall into it, and you will need to clean it regularly. If you must have the hut near your pool, it is, therefore, a better idea to select a synthetic thatch that will not require a lot of cleaning. Do select the roof cover carefully. Another essential element of Palapa construction is the roof cover. The roof thatch of the tiki hut must match the roof of your house or surroundings. For example, if the hut is just beside your house, the thatch roof must match the roof of your home. But if the hut is a little farther away, match the thatch roof with the surroundings, but opt for something neat or shaggy. For example, Mexican rain cape is the best choice for an island effect, and a neat thatch is perfect for a contemporary look. Don't install paving or pool deck before the posts. It's best to cut paving materials around posts and not before them to give a finished look. If the tiki hut is an addition and there is an existing deck, then it is best to use the specific posts to cut into the deck. To prevent the ingress of water, use a joint sealer between the posts and paving. This is important because the pool deck and the posts have different expansion rates which might lead to cracks in the future. Do consider your climate. If you live in a dry, hot, and windy climate, natural thatch is the best option for you, because it does not do well in a humid climate. Another thing to note is that natural thatch produces small pieces of debris that need to be pressure washed from the roof, and then swept or blown from the pool deck from time to time. The second option, synthetic thatch requires much less maintenance, but is not always as aesthetically pleasing, and might prove to be an expensive investment in the short term. However, with every passing day, new improvements are being made in synthetic thatches to make it look more like natural thatch and carry the same aesthetic value. Don't use soft or untreated wood for ground burial posts. Always select the posts have been adequately treated or covered before being set in the ground or choose the type of wood that is specifically designed for ground burial. Posts are installed to keep the moisture away and prevent them from entering the cracks. You can seal the space between the posts and the concrete footing with an expansive joint sealer to ensure that the moisture does not seep in. Are you looking for help with your Tiki Hut installation? Get in touch with us today. We're happy to help.